Hey, hi, hello, what's up? Welcome back with Oso oh, Salimi here, and I am back. Uh, moving is finished. Uh, we're just, I'm gonna say we're like 98% unpacked and set in and everything like that. So, officially, moving is done. So, now I'm back to recording, and I'm actually gonna be recording, as you can see, a Little Nightmare. So, we're doing a new game today. Um, fun fact, not so fun for me, but funny guys for you, funny for you guys. Um, I actually technically pre-recorded like two videos of this, but I ended up having to get rid of it because the audio on my part didn't record. So that was like, what, maybe two hours of me playing this game? Not two hours, I'm going to say like an hour total of me playing this game. And I couldn't do anything with it because what happened? Don't know. But anyways, um... He said, new game, Little Nightmares. I So I played a little bit of it, unfortunately. Like I said, I pre-recorded it. But uh, I liked it a lot. And I'm going to try to recollect all the commentary that I was saying as I was playing through it. Just so it's still pretty um, nice. And um, obviously it can't be fresh fresh. Because, I mean, I already technically played it a little bit. But... I will, you know, re-record some stuff because I've actually gotten a few requests for me playing this game, and I like this game, um, and I'm looking forward to playing it for my channel, and I will be finishing Layers of Fear eventually, but right now I want to get some new stuff on my channel so I can have just a little bit more content, you know? I did, I did notice often though with the eye insignia that that play is all very constant role throughout the game. I don't know if it's meant to be just like an insignia of the game itself or if that's just saying like you know because it is like a nightmare kind of game that you're always gonna feel like you're getting watched. Maybe that's what it is more so but I don't know maybe that's just me. I gotta remember how to do stuff. That's sprint. That's crouch. Oh yeah and then that's how I can grab stuff. I mean it's the beginning of the game so it'll 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 show me later how to do all this stuff. What's this flashlight? Yeah, let's get light. So the game actually doesn't really give you much of a tutorial until you like get stuck at something. But, uh, yeah, cause it, it'll, like, it took me forever to figure out how to even get out of here in the first place. I can't jump up there. I can't jump up there, but I can't go up there. Um, it has every, all the controls in the menu, so if you do get stuck somewhere and the game's not really helping you too much. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. Um, yeah, so everything's just pretty much in the menu if you ever find yourself stuck somewhere. You just go to the menu, remind yourself what does what, and just go from there. See, I didn't know what was going to be coming when, so I, I was always turning off my light just in case like something was going to see me that wasn't supposed to see me, or whatever. Let's just run up. Just run, 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 run. Um, so, I'm just going to go off of my hypothesis that I made up for this game, because it doesn't give you any setting. It doesn't let you know anything. You're just pretty much just dropped into this world and it's pretty much just up to you however you want to, however, you, pretty much, can I do anything with this? Guess not. Alright, well, can I, can I jump onto it? I don't know what I can do with this thing over here. Um, cause like, there's like these little things. I don't know what you can do with them. I mean, I know, I notice I can like pick them up. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with them, but I know I can pick them up. Okay. So there's gotta be something I can do with you. I can... That's... Hmm. I don't know. I don't think it really matters me carrying this thing. I think it's just there just to be there. Oh! Oh! 
oh, I got something from that. I don't know what I got. <laughs> See, I didn't know I could drop it and break it and get stuff from it. I didn't know that last time. So I'm learning new stuff with this one too. But uh, going back to me before I started rambling on, well, I was trying to figure out from this thing. Um, so my hypothesis with all this playing through, like I said, they just drop you in everything. You have no idea about the story or anything like that. For all you know, this could be a bad dream of hers or, you know, maybe she just got dropped into this really messed up reality. Who knows? Whatever. But, or, well, he or she, we don't, we don't even know if it's a boy or girl. But, oh, fuck you. That's definitely a person or something. That's definitely some sort of a something. Anyway. But, uh, so my hypothesis was that this was like some little orphan. Alright. This is like an orphan girl, boy. I'm gonna go with girl just because I think, I don't know, I just think of a little girl when I see like little wrinkled thing. Till they correct me, other. Right. <sighs> Depressing scene. And so with these intro scenes that they're doing, I think they just kind of help give you clues as to what the setting was prior to everything. Can I read this? Can I read this? That'd be messed up if I could read that. But, uh, Jesus Christ, the doors. Um, just gonna pause real quick just so I can go over everything, get it out. My hypothesis is that this is a little orphan person who's just been abandoned in the streets. I don't know for how long. I don't know if they ever met their parents. I don't know if they've ever known what it was like to be part of a family or if they did have a family in some awful circumstance ended up with them being an orphan. So for all I know, could have been born, you know, just dumped into the streets. So as a child, it's like a very, very young infant, you know, doesn't know the concept of a family, doesn't know what it's like having an actual family. Could have just been born and raised in the street, essentially. Or could have had a family, but due to terrible circumstance, ended up an orphan in the street. I mean, I don't think they did all this just for atmosphere. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure they could have. Right, I gotta get the chair. I'm sure they could have, you know, just to mess with you. But I don't think they would just have random people hanging like that if there wasn't, like, clues as to, you know, how everything got to be where it was. Oh, can I not have a close for this? Okay, well. Fine, let me just push you in. Okay, alright, alright, okay. Girl. Okay, I guess as close as I get, I guess. I don't think there's anything in here. Oh, that's nasty. Blue ink, though. Or not blue ink, black ink, whatever. But yeah, like... There's just like all this stuff. Oh, right. I don't even know if there's anything over there. It doesn't well wait, because I can get those known things. I can get those known peoples too, right? I can. Holy shit. I can. Alright, I think that goes to the next room, so let me just look at this real quick before I do any of that. Alright, that just jumps off. You think that would just like make her go like I don't know. I keep thinking that's supposed to make her like go faster or something, but it's not like a game that can do that, or at least not supposed to do that. Can I go over there? Maybe? Nope, nope, nope. It's nothing but planks over there anyway, so it doesn't matter. Where does this go to? Yeah, those things, stay away from those things. They'll chase you around and it's not fun. Huh. And these are like little safe things.
Fuck you. Ooh, girly. Okay. <laughs> so, hmm. I might have been able because I'm just now I'm just curious. Now I'm gonna go back to the other room. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I just want to see. Ah, oh, seriously. Okay, I just wanted to see where the underground thing was going to go. So hopefully it'll drop me back at the fridge so I can not have to redo all that. It probably will drop me off as soon as I lit the thing, though. Oh, no, it won't. Okay, well, that's fine, because that's, like, right at the part I want it to be at anyway. So let's just... So it'll take you back right before where you died at versus... Ouch. You think drop that high would like, kill her? One would think. Okay. So there's this little place. So let's go in here before I even do all that. I want to see where this goes. Oh. Oh. I helped you. Oh my god. So you can hug these little things and they'll like kind of follow you around. It's kind of cute. No, there's nothing else to do here, it seems. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, I can't do anything else here. Alright, little guy, well, now you have fire, so now I'll go back to doing what I do. They're harmless, they just kind of follow you. I don't know if he's going to follow me in here. I don't encourage him to, because I don't, okay. Because <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, like, I don't know where I'm going, so I wouldn't encourage you to unless you can keep up, buddy. Like, it's really sweet, but I don't, I don't know if I can help keep both of us alive, sorry. So yeah, there, um, as noticed from the first playthrough, pretty much, okay, come on now. Notice from the first playthrough that, okay, come on, come on, come on. Um, yeah, it's just these random scenes, like with the whole thing with like the body hanging from the, with like the body hanging from the, uh, Okay. Alright. Yeah, so like with the body hanging from the other scene and everything like that. It's- I, I take that as clues. I mean, it could just be another element just to make it all the more of a creepy atmosphere, but I, I don't- I don't think they would just do that just for sake of aesthetics. I think that's definitely more of like a scene for everything, just so you, to give you clues as to how this child ended up here. Alright, so... Okay, up. Oh, I remember this. We gotta go. 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 Can I keep the fire on while I'm running? I don't remember. Um... I don't know. I was gonna try it and see. Yeah, I don't remember how this goes. Come on. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go now. Damn it. I thought it was a- I, I didn't see I could go under. Alright, well now you gotta do it all over again. Come on. Come on. You gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. You can jump on the bucket. But I'm like, there's not much point in doing that. Oh, girl. Why? <laughs> what did I do to deserve this? Can I, Melissa, can you at least, like, drop me off, like, right when I got out of the thing? Because this is, like, I don't, I couldn't tell you how many times I died in this, just in, like, in this first part. Like, seriously. And then I got stuck at the door. Oh my god, the door was pissing me off. Alright, we're good now. Because they can't jump for shit. Alright, it's like this. Yeah, I still have ink feet. It's gross. Alright, so there's that. Uh, let's see. Oh! Okay, bye. I mean, I was, I was going to give you hugs. But I guess no hugs for you. 
careful. Please don't fall. Please don't. Hmm. Must have went up here, I guess. I just always wonder where they all end up going when I don't see them. Going this way. It's just so eerie. I don't even... Because I had a way of describing this game just from first impression-wise. Excuse him. Oh, Jesus. Um, how did I describe this? I think I described it as like Tim Burton meets Goth Studio Ghibli. Ghibli. I keep thinking Ghibli for some reason. Studio Ghibli meets Coraline. Like that's like a good mixture, I would say, of what this all looks like on the other side. Then. Okay. Oh, okay, so whatever. Going this way then. Alright. Okay. Go. Go, 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 go. Jesus. Alright, so there's that. But yeah, like the creep elements of this are just. Alright, that doesn't open. Can I open this at all? No, alright. I don't know if that was static because that was what I was doing or yes, run right into it. Please do. Alright, let's do that. Okay. I mean it's whatever, the game's already creepy enough. Yeah, so there is another there's one of those things. When I tell you that all I've seen is, like I said, um, actually no, not like I said, I didn't say in the beginning, I haven't played this game at all prior to me trying to re record it early, oh he was checking. I haven't played, I haven't seen any playthroughs of this game, so I know other people, but oh, okay, so that's what that is. I never stopped to notice what that was, so I'm probably going to come to that later on. Most likely. Alright, so I don't know if those count as save points, but I mean, I'm, I would imagine they would since the eye icon keeps coming up every time I do it. Alright, alright, so there's this fun stuff. Alright. Supposed to stay close, that's fine. I got to get into the other room. Yeah, okay. Look around. Do, do, do. I know it goes there. Blah, 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 blah. I just wanted to just look. Can I just look? Okay. It's timed, but it's, it's actually a pretty long timer. Because... And more of that eye icon and as you can see these are some pretty big beings living here I don't know I don't know if they're technically people or if they are more so like embodiments of like I don't know like the seven deadly sins or something I'm not really sure I don't really know Oh, that fell off the thing. Might what happened there? Alright. So now I get to I'm gonna close this like all the way. 
I don't want that opening. Nothing happens. I just, I just don't want it open. Alright, so... Alright. Timer. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so there's nothing else to grab in that room. It's just a little mini puzzle to get you through it. And then it's that. Do, 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 do. Mm, let me see. What else? What else did I say about this game? But yeah. Uh, like I said, this is pretty much a blind playthrough. I haven't, outside of me, what the, I've already pre-recorded, but I couldn't. Outside of that, I couldn't. Um, I haven't seen anyone else play it. I haven't seen Jack play it. I haven't seen Mark Flyer play it. I haven't seen anybody play it. So off of teasers and other gameplay outside of the games that I end up messing up at, this is pretty much me just going in with no idea. Oh, no, no. I'm sorry. All right, met him. All right, no. Okay, come back. Okay, met him. To the right, please. All right, and to the right. Okay, so now he's gonna go back to his pattern. Unless he spots me somehow, I don't know. So these eyes are assholes. He's checking for sounds, pretty much. This is as far as I can go. He checks back over there if he thinks he hears a sound. Outside of that, he's just looking for something. I'm gonna wait till he's over there, then he goes over to the right. How did... What? Okay, I got saved somehow. Weird. Gotta wait till he's like all the way over there. Run. Okay, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's a little thing. Okay. Okay, I guys remember how I got over there. I'm like, there's no there whoops, there's nothing I could have used over there. You know you think that little bit would count as the light hitting me, but I'm, I mean I'm glad it doesn't, but so like hmm. I mean they wouldn't put that there if I couldn't get to them, so let me try to get over there uh-huh now you come back over here come back over here huh I did not come this way last time hi hi I'm gonna give you hugs okay I'm gonna give you hugs it kind of makes me wonder since they're kind of in such similar um, design as to the girl, the orphan. I'm gonna keep calling it orphan. I wonder if they're like um, previous children. Oh my god, it's so bloody in here. What the hell happened in here? Is there something else in here? Oh my god. Can I? Let me see the room. I can't really do anything in here. It's just, it's just a little storage hideaway for you. So, like I said, because it's like. You know, she's got like the triangle head, like Peridot from Steven Universe, and these have like the little, it's more of like a sharp triangular cone shape, but it's still a very similar design, and it makes me wonder, are these like potentially like other children that have been here before, and have gone through the same situation that she's, or he, whoever, has gone through. I can't jump that high. So I have to go back through and do it all that all over again. Don't get caught. He's looking for the sounds too. He's like, I hear you. But where are you? Oh well. Like you'll never find me, don't worry about it. Please don't fall. Alright, let's I just wanna see what's over here. I think I did this before and there wasn't anything over there, but I'm gonna look anyway, cause I can. Oh, right. 
Okay, it's a very, very creepy room. Oh, it's another doll. Okay, I gotta... Okay. I don't know what that does. So I'm not exactly too... I'm just curious, does this do anything? Doesn't look like it. Alright, well, off I go then. I'm just like so tiny, look at me. Like, I'm clearly not <laughs> belonging here. Alright, so on to the next room. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I forgot about this. I am so sorry. Okay, so this is a baby room. This is a baby room. Jesus Christ. I I don't know if I was supposed to like wait until he left or whatever. I really don't know. I just I booked it out of there. Oh fuck. Please don't. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> yeah. I for I completely forgot about that room with that guy. Okay, so let's just jump it, make it, do it. Alright, so crouch. Well he's clearly still in there because the door just creaked. I keep hearing rats, but I haven't had to deal with any rats, and I'm really hoping I don't have to anytime soon either. Never mind that one. You know what I mean? Like them damn leeches. I'm hoping I don't have to deal with anything like. Alright, and then she goes through this little hungry episode. <sighs> and this is, again, I think it's just another element that they put into it to give you an idea of what the background of this story is. Because these it's not just random things, they're not just putting it in there just to like, oh, you just need to put something in here just to make the game a little bit more challenging. Like, no, this is clearly telling a story that they don't want to tell it to outright without ruining the whole thing. So Okay, I'm not even having you run right now. Lady, don't you wanna feed me? Feed me. Num nums. So like I said, this goes back into the story that I'm. I'm still. Con I'm still to this day not really sure if that bread was actually supposed to help or if that was like, I don't know, some scientist or something that just wanted to test some weird bread. Oh wait, no, 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 no! I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. Actually, looking at it, that's another kid. That's another kid who's like abandoned. Whether if it's an orphan or somebody who was kidnapped or something. And when I first saw it, I thought it was like an adult because they looked taller than her. So I thought it was an adult. Sorry, I forgot the grab motion. But now looking at it, it's another kid. So with that being said and done. Oh, look, a hang noose. Just what I needed. But yeah, now that that's all said and done, and. Oh, this doesn't move. What am I doing? <laughs> Looking back on it, it makes a lot more sense. I think I hate the shower scene later on, I believe. I'm pretty sure I will. I'm pretty sure I do right now. Too tall. Alright. Yeah, there's leeches. There's gonna be another leech room scene shortly. I think they stay in there so long as it's wet. Oh, how did this work? That's electric, so I can't go in there. Go up here. Okay, grab. Alright, so. Okay. 
So, yeah, so we seen the hanging body. It's obviously a, a man. I don't know what the backstory is with it. We can only assume that possibly it was her father or Trevor caretaker was. Could have been her grandfather or an uncle or something like that. And, you know, obviously something happened to make him hang himself, killing himself. And then we have these little gnome creatures that have the same kind of triangular head shape, although theirs is a lot more narrow and more of a uh, narrow cone shape, while hers is more of like a full, almost like kind of like pyramid shape. I'm assuming because of her hair. I'm gonna keep going with her for the moment because I keep I can't do neutral today. It's just a her. <laughs> um, and then you know, so that makes me wonder. You know, were were they previous children? Were they just like put into the situation where they kidnapped? Where you know, how did they end up there? And if that was the case, you know, am I right in assuming that these were previous children and whatever's you know happened to them has them stuck here? as these little known things and they just you know they don't know what to do with themselves because clearly they're like the same size if not smaller than her their hats just make up the rest of their height and it's like they just they either know to run or they go to warmth and they like her hugs because once she hugs them then they they try to follow a little bit i mean they clearly they can't go very far because i mean they're only they're tiptoeing around a little bit but that's just like so they know the concept of kindness they just don't know it here and then back to the hanging body you know i feel like that kind of shows a clue to the pretext of everything like i said i'm just going off my own hypothesis i'm totally making this stuff up as i go hoping because this is piecing the puzzles for me and you know if anything contradicts that then i'll shift it around that and see how it makes more sense but you know hanging body caretaker whether it was her brother father grandfather uncle cousin whoever they hung themselves due to maybe they lost their job or their wife left them or cheated on them or something something happened to make them feel like their life was that low to the point where they killed themselves so there's that the um the fact that she even the, let's go back to the first scene where she even woke up in the briefcase that in itself is kind of like you know she's not used to staying in one spot or if she has it maybe she was in the middle of moving and then everything just went topsy-turvy and so that's like literally all she has left and then she's just been keeping that in a briefcase until you know she can find what to do with herself in the streets i mean i would imagine being a street an orphan in the streets you know you would find either a little hideaway where you can keep all your stuff at while you, you know, go about getting your resources to, you know, live the next day. Or she's maybe living with other people, so to speak, but they might not be as kind. I'm not really sure. I guess I'm going off my own hypothesis. 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 Let's just say theories. I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. And then, what was it? It was something else. And then we go back to these humanoid things where I don't know what they are. They, they're human-like, but they're not exactly... Okay, I'm gonna turn that off for a second. They're not exactly human, but it's like they're like human embodiments of something. But I don't know how to categorize them. Okay, so that's as close as you're gonna get. That's as close as you're gonna get. Oh boy. Alright, all right. so like I said, just giving all, all these clues, I have a vague idea of what the story could be. I mean, I could be totally off for- OH NO, WHY YOU DO THAT? I didn't expect you to hit that hard, oh my god. <laughs> I didn't expect you to hit that hard, it's not funny, but oh my god, I didn't expect you to- Oh, this dropped me all the way back here. That's some assholes. But I did not expect it to drop me all the way. I didn't expect it to drop me like that. Like, damn. And 
do it now. Yeah, sweet. That does something. I guess I could have climbed up, but it's like, hey, there's a low way. No, ladder sucks. Never mind. Don't use ladder. <laughs> I did that last time, too. <laughs> Alright, so going up here. Do, 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 do. Alright, so we do. This is the fun part. Okay. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, Tritifi. <laughs> I was about to jump. It's like, wait a minute, what are you doing? You're tiny. Stop it. Can't be doing stuff like that. That don't make sense. Okay, so wasn't there another gnome thing in here too? Like another room, something? Alright, so let's open. No, okay, right, let's open this up. Come on, one of you open up. Alright, that's stuck playing this game. I think it was in the don't. I think it was in the kids room. No, stop it. Alright, fine. Open a little bit. I just no. Oh wait. Yeah, okay. I just need to do that. Alright. No timer for this one. It doesn't go there. So. That one just stays off. You don't need a timer for that one. He just runs off. It's like, no, come back. I want to be your friend. I just want to give you hugs. So, I don't know if it's possible to hug all of the ones that you're able to, since some of them just run off screen somewhere and you just never, you just never find where they go. Aww. Aww, hugs. You just need love, that's all. I'm sorry. But, yeah. And I'll just do this real quick. Ooh. And there's the hanging noose. Alright. Okay. Alright. Come on. Whee! How her weight equals that, I am not sure. And I find that very hard to believe that she's the exact same weight as that thing. Maybe that's just me, but I find that very hard to believe. Move. Hands on you. Jesus. Things loud. Why are you so loud? Come on. Yep. 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 I just wanted to get through that because I didn't want to do that next video. I did not want to do that next video. Alright. So. Now that we turn off the electricity, we go into the next room. And this is this is where it saves it. Yep. So this is where I left off at. Teehee. I did not get to the next room. At least I don't think I did. But either way, I know I made it to the lat to the second eye monster thing. So there's that. So this is where I'm gonna leave off at because it's already been like 40 minutes since I started playing. But uh, yeah. So like I said, I've 
done a lot of digesting on this video this far. I haven't gotten very far. I know I haven't. But I mean, it's so far I really enjoy the game. I like I like creepy games like this where it's not like constantly in your face creepy. Where it's like, oh, uh, we kind of constantly remind you how creepy this game is. We're constantly gonna get scare you and put you on like your, you know, pretty much constantly like keeping you like full of adrenaline, like fight or flight mode constantly on. I like games like this where it's just. It's creepy atmosphere, but with still enough breathing room to get you to focus on just finding out what you need to do with the next part of- Are there people? I'm just not looking in the, the- I'm just not looking in the cages and it's actual kids. Like this is- I don't know what this is now. Like, is this like a harvesting orphanage or something? Like, I don't so now I feel bad for that kid that threw me the bread because that was probably his only meal for like I don't know how long and excuse me and he gave it to her a complete stranger and he's just sitting there like well I'm probably gonna you know be starving for the next couple days hopefully you know he gets to see his next meal but I mean wow this game has so many layers it's ridiculous and I don't even so many layers to it already and I'm not even like in the knee deep shit of it excuse my language but <laughs> like, Jesus Christ that uh like I said I love games like this where it's just it's creepy enough to get you into the atmosphere of it and gets you into the uh the mindset of what it wants you to be at but at the same time it's not too scary it doesn't constantly like you know, keep you scared with like jump stairs and all that stuff. Like it, like, like it's already doing its job as is with the atmosphere enough. Like, well, trust me, the scary stuff's coming. But for now, he wants you to focus on the puzzles and focus on how you're gonna get out of here. It's like, you know, I it, it tells a story without having to tell a story. And I love games like that where they don't have to narrate everything and put it in right in front of you. They'll just give you little pieces, and then they'll be like, well, you know figure out what you want from this and you know we'll just go from there and reveal more as it goes we won't necessarily tell you what's right or what's wrong but we will give you a pathway and however you choose the path however you choose to follow the path is up to you and i just i love i love games like this i love it i love it so much <laughs> but enough about that like i said um you know i've already played long enough but i mean it's so good it's so good i mean i don't know what else to say it's so good but uh, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys again for watching. And I will be putting out the second one um, within the next couple days. And uh, like I said, thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you guys again next time. Okay, bye.